This is the Shiz Naive. Like, I love this lip gloss. Like, this lip gloss is like crack. She's the kind of girl you wanna marry. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get started. As y'all can see, I have no makeup, nothing on, on my face. Um, and, you know, I like to start off with a fresh, clean face, but I, most importantly, I think with clear skin, you have a clear canvas, and it's best for you um, to do your makeup with something that's really good to work with. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I just showered, just have that shower, what a helpful, mm. What I'm about to do right now is put on this um, under eye mask just to make sure that my eyes aren't like, you know, so baggy underneath because I have like designer bags under my eyes or whatever. So I'm going to use this Yes to Cucumber Soothing Two-Step Eye Kit um, and, you know, bye bye bags in dark circles. for like the next 10 minutes and um, after that I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eye treatment and then we can go ahead and get started on our makeup let's carry on <laughs> how much wood could a wood chuck chuck could a wood chuck could chuck wood yeah 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 I'm trying to think of the best filter to use for like all of my pictures because I want all my pictures to have the same filter now. We can even plug ourselves in! <laughs> Alright, so this. <laughs> While I'm waiting for my under eyes to unbagify, I can go ahead and start with my eye makeup. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the brows. So my brow routine is pretty simple. In fact, it hasn't changed. Coming back with me, that's an easy decision. Perfect 10, girl, I know you see the vision. Just listen. She like how my chain and my earrings, they glisten. I like how your waist and your body is shaped. Mommy slim thick, supermodel in the face. I'm really trying to see how you taste. I never really chase, but you hey, run through girl, my mind. Hey, listen to me. Would you listen? The way you move your thing, girl, drop me crazy. Drop me crazy. Shout it, listen to me. Yeah. Would you listen? She wanna go three rounds worthy the opponent okay. Telling me it's mine and I hey, own it girl, listen to me Would you listen The way you move your thing Girl, drive me crazy Drive me crazy Shout it, listen to me Yeah The way you move your thing Girl, drive me crazy Drive me crazy Yeah So I want the color piano To the sound to the rhythm of piano So your back out with the high note I know, yeah. So I want the little piano to the sound of the rhythm of piano. Piano, so you back out with the hano, at the hano. Mommy too fine and a body figure eight. Body ever got this yeah, we gotta figure it out. Trying to make you mine, take you back to my place. We got the juice, yeah, no say we got the money. Mommy too fine and a body figure eight. Body ever got this yeah, we gotta figure it out. Trying to make you mine, take you back to my we place. Got the juice, yeah, no say we got hey, the girl, money. listen to me. The way you move your thing, girl, drive me crazy. Drive me crazy. Shout it, listen to me, yeah. You listen, baby, yeah. The way you move your thing, girl, drive me crazy. Drive me crazy, yeah. So I want the love 
yeah, I know. So I kind of messed up this brow right here, but that's okay because that is not even where we're gonna finish with our brows. But let's go ahead and finish our face. Um, right now I'm gonna go ahead and put this little, I guess, serum at the bottom of my eyes. Um, just like that. Just to kind of work with the little mask that I put on there earlier. And um, you can find this at Ulta. Like, honestly, guys, it's not hard to find. Um, so, yeah. My under eyes are feeling, like, plumper already. You know what I'm saying? So, um... <laughs> Let's move on, shawty. What I've changed with my current makeup routine is I actually do my eyes completely before I go ahead and finish my face. I found it to be more effective, faster, and much more simpler for me, especially because I've been dibbling and dabbling in eyeshadow as of recently. So, yeah, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna go ahead and do some eyeshadow, like something really, really subtle. And then we're gonna move on to the rest of our makeup. I'm not down for stress. I wanna know you love your complexion, girl. Darker her berry, the sweeter her juice. You so fine, don't wanna waste time. African girl from the west side, yeah. Mine don't change for the waist line. It's never too late, it's a great time, yeah. You so fine, don't wanna waste time. So for eyeshadow, I use this this small MAC palette. I don't even know what it's called. It was a gift, like for my birthday, like years ago. But I use this small MAC palette, and I use pretty much all the colors except for this one right here. Um, and yeah, I use this one right here is my transition color. This is like my smoky color, like in the corners. And then I use this one as my lid color. So. Yeah, it's really not that elaborate or anything, but I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys how I go ahead and do it. Guess I'm stuck in the past tense. She wasn't as bad then. No, she wasn't a bad friend. Now she wanna, now she wanna, now she wanna roll with the party. Now she wanna sip on Bacardi. She wanna catch the wave, now she's artsy. She just a little short but shawty. Now she wanna roll with the party. Now she wanna sip on Bacardi. She wants to catch the wave, now she's artsy. She's just a little show, but show, but show, but shawty. You so fine, don't wanna waste time. My African girl from the west side, yeah. Mind I don't change for the waistline. It's never too late, it's a great time, yeah. You so fine, don't wanna waste time. My African girl from the west side, yeah. Your body don't change with the baseline. Your body don't change. Girl, I wanna know. Girl, I wanna know what you want right now. You wanna keep it on the low? Keep it on the low? We can keep it on the low. All right, so now that I'm all done with my eyes, it is time to move on to face makeup. So what I usually do is I go ahead and start off with my primer. I have the MAC Prep and Prime Primer. This is the Natural Radiance Base Lumiere, Lumiere? I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but I use this one because when I went to get it, I actually got it in Paris, and the lady was like, there's two options. You can either get it in pink, like if you have a pink undertone or a yellow undertone. I definitely have more of a yellow undertone than anything, so um, that's the one I got. So that is what I've been using, and it's been doing a pretty good job for me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use this on my face. And really all you need is two pumps. A little goes a long way with this uh, primer. That's what I've noticed. Like, see, even this is too much for me. So, yeah, a little goes a long way. Now I'm taking off my little hair thing because I'm sure my edges are laid by now. And I don't want, like, if you're wearing any, like, type of headscarf or anything, you don't want your headscarf to get in the way of you doing your foundation because you'll have, like, this big old line right here. Too many times have I gone out and that has been the case. So, yeah, make sure you remove your headscarf, remove your do-rag, anything that you're wearing right now on your head. Remove it before you go ahead and do your face makeup. So now that my primer is on, I'm going to go ahead and use the Born This Way, two, or the Too Faced Born This Way foundation um, in Spiced Rum. This is like a perfect color for me, perfect. And I've been using it for a while now, like, I don't know, since, since like before Nigeria I've been using it. And it's really, really good on my face. I love it so much. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Now I know last time I said that I was using um, brushes to apply my foundation and stuff like that, but I, I'm, I'm past that stage, y'all. I use beauty blenders now. So I'm gonna go in with my huge, my big old booty <laughs> uh, beauty blender and I'm going to go ahead and blend in this foundation. 
So remember when I said I messed up my eyebrow guys, what I'm going to do now is um, make sure that whenever I am putting on the foundation like down my eyebrow line, I make sure that it's really blended even right there. So I'm gonna go in with um, my Shape Tape from Tarte and I have this in the shade tan deep sand and that's because I like my concealer to be a little lighter um, because I like certain features of my face to really really pop but it all ends up blending well whenever I go ahead and use my setting powder from Huda Beauty so let's just go ahead and move on for an alerta pretty isom isom confidential confidential if I tell you say me a very confidential man my credential my credential wanna mash it up and leave you thinking oh my god ah. All right, another thing that I have changed with my makeup routine is that I actually no longer really use um, cream contour. Um, I only use it for my nose um, and my underneath my my bottom lip, and that's pretty much it. I don't use cream contour on my cheeks anymore because what I noticed is that it would drag down to like my lip areas and the places that I did not actually highlight with my concealer and I didn't like the way that it was looking it would make me look like I had a beard it would make me look like I had a mustache sometimes and I didn't like the way that it was looking so I've decided to change up the way I do that but I'll show you guys how I do that in just a bit um, but let's go ahead and use our cream contour for our nose right now and um, under our bottom lip yeah. Wanna act up but we ain't scared I got a drink in my hand belly Could the men move it shy man Them on the wall smoking gun shit there's no more left Baby tell me where's my keys oh Baby tell me where's my keys Cause we're making moves tonight Couple girls won't talk cause I heard that we stay where we So now we have done basically almost everything and we're nearing the end and this is like my favorite part of all time doing my makeup which is putting the setting powder on. I feel like once you put the setting powder on everything starts to kind of come together and it makes me like feel like a baddie like you know just looking at myself I'm just like man girl you just look so good. You look so good. <laughs> so um, yeah I'm about to go ahead and just use my uh, cinnamon bun uh, setting powder from Huda Beauty first. I go ahead and put those in certain spots. Well, not I put those in like all of my highlighted spots first, and then what I do after that is I put in um, the Kunafa on my under eyes, my nose, and uh, like pretty much my T zone. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So it's really really important that I tell you guys I use Cinnamon Bun right here in my smile lines so that. Whenever I do smile, because I smile a lot <laughs> throughout my day, whenever I'm filming videos, whenever I'm just in public and walking down the street looking at somebody, I like to smile. So um, I put the setting powder right on my smile lines because it really protects them from like really like getting all creased up and looking all nasty throughout the day. So yeah, I put them on my smile lines and you know, I can smile endlessly throughout the day. <laughs> If you see me for street up, make you shout my name. If you see me for hood up, make you shout it up, baby. So remember how I was telling you guys I actually do not use um, cream contour anymore. What I do use is powder contour, and I have got the Morphe. Um, filter effect finishing powder in number filter 15 I think that's what it's called and it's the darkest one and that's because you know I'm a dark skin baby if you couldn't tell I'm chocolate okay I'm too too dark for the brown skins and too light for the dark skins where do I fit but you know this is what I use so I go ahead and use my morphe brush in e4 and I it's the angled contour brush and I just go ahead and it's it's really heavy y'all so a little like I said a little can go a long way so I just dab dab just a little bit and I go ahead and just sweep across my contour line my cheek <laughs> See, I remember we did it for me. 
So I use my Real Techniques Expert um, face brush to go ahead and make sure that everything else is pretty much blended in its place. Um, and this just kind of keeps makes make sure that like literally everything is blended without taking away the makeup. I've been using this Real Techniques brush for a while now, and it's been doing me right, y'all. It's been doing me right. I actually have started to use blush, y'all. I, I I don't know what it is, but blush has been in my makeup routine as of late. So I go ahead with the Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa uh, palette. I just tap it a little bit and I get the excess off and I just kind of sweep it on my cheek. Ah! I'm looking rosy already. It's so pretty. And what I love about this blush is that it kind of is actually a highlighter, I think. So it kind of adds that little like glow effect without you having to add highlighter. But we are gonna add highlighter, y'all. I'm just gonna clarify that like we are gonna add highlighter. We're not there yet. So once all of that is complete, I'm gonna go in with my all-nighter spray and just start spraying down my face. All right, so now for highlighter, I go ahead and I use the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. And this has probably been the best highlighter that I've ever used. I know before I used to use the MAC one. I don't know which one for MAC, but I used this one and this is the bee's knees, y'all. Like, man. Woo! I use the actual brush that it comes with it. It's pretty expensive. You don't have to get this one. I used to use like my old like you know um, highlighter brush, like the fan brush, but I don't use that anymore. I use this one because I feel like it's pretty specific to this um, highlighter. It's really really pigmented and it's really really delicate. So if you drop this, it will break. Luckily, I keep it in the box that it came in, so I have not broken it yet. And God forbid that I ever will. And as y'all know, makeup can never be complete if you don't have a good little lip gloss on, for me at least. So um, what I've been doing as of late to make sure that my lip gloss pops the way I want it to um, I actually use a makeup remover on my lips because all that product that I've been putting on has definitely dragged down to my lips by now. So I make sure that my lips are clear of anything before I go ahead and put anything on my lips. As you can see, there's literally already a difference. There was so much like foundation, concealer, contour, you don't even know, powder that could have drifted down to my lips. There's so much on my, like this brush alone that was on my lips. So. There's a clear difference, a clear difference, guys. So we're gonna go in with our brown eyeliner. That has not changed. I still use brown eyeliner because I still have not found a lip liner that is dark enough, uh, yet also light enough for me to use on my lips. So I use brown eyeliner. I'm staying true to my colors. I'm going to use the coconut oil lip gloss, um, the Vita Lip from Roadway. And I go ahead and put that on first because it's really hydrating and I like the way it makes my lips pop. And then over that, I go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Fussy Lip Gloss. And y'all, this is the Shiz Naive. Like, I love this lip gloss. Like, this lip gloss is like crack. And just like that, we have a full-on beat face. Ah, I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you want any more information on the products I use, all of them will be in the description box down below. Make sure that you guys are following me on all of my social media, especially Instagram, because that is where all of the tea is. Follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat. All of them will be Cindy Rella OG. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed. And beautiful gems and I love you so much. Smooches.